is your will, my master. How's it going, Kruk? Uh, this is a demo video for you for your sabers. It's not going to be a quick demo because there's three of them. Um, these are all from Starfall Sabers. You've got this scrap flex here that we'll go over. Um, you've got a uh, corn horn variant that we'll go over as well. And then lastly, and actually the first one that we'll go over just because that's how it was sitting on my desk, you have this cross guard that we'll go over right now. Right. Um, all three of these were installed with Proppies. Um, two of them have 28 millimeter bass speakers. Uh, so this one has a bass speaker, or a 28 millimeter speaker. Uh, the Scrap Flex has one, and then the Corn Horn has a 24 millimeter, but it's fully enclosed, uh, and they all sound really good. All right. Um, I know you've been waiting on these for a long time to get done. Uh, that's just the nature of custom work. Um, but you. It's something you had mentioned to me. So uh, I worked extra hard these last couple of days to make sure that I could knock these out for you and we could get these sent along uh, to you as, as quickly as possible, right? Uh, these probably won't go out today, um, but they can go out to, you know, first thing in the morning uh, tomorrow. But anyway, for the cross guard, um, you've got CC Sabres lit PCB in here. And you actually have that in all the Sabres, but in this one, you have three sets, right? You got one in each pillion. And then your main blade so they all light up uh, this is a two button setup uh, Phil Guinness switches were used on all of these so you've got these brass Phil Guinness switches right here um, and this I installed this with uh, with a removable chassis uh, so what you want to do is just open up the pommel uh, this is the only place on the saber that opens try not to drop it uh, when you open you'll see your speaker there you can just go like that with your hand your chassis will fall out and you can pull it all the way out. Um, and then here's your chassis, all right? I did put a little bit of filigree on here uh, just to try to match the etch somewhat that you had on your handle. Um, it's not the same filigree pattern, but it's similar, right? Uh, here's your profi board. So it is a tight snap fit down into the shelf. Uh, all of these are tight snap fits. That's what I typically do. Um, so if you ever wanted to get to that SD card, you could just pop it up, uh, do what you need to do with your config, and then snap it back down into place, right? Um, removable battery set up here, so your spring side. Um, your Smuggles Outpost Elite 28 millimeter speaker. And then this utilizes the uh, Smuggles Outpost Switch Pixel PCB set. So you've got this PCB set here um, that makes connection with a 14 pin PCB in there that you could see it. So that never comes out, right? That is held in place a little bit. It's held in place a little bit by this set screw that was put there for that purpose, but mostly it's a press fit. Um, I make that diameter of that holder uh, right around the same diameter as this handle. So I, I, it, it takes a little bit of doing to shove it in there and then it's not going anywhere. All right. Um, I don't have seven eighths inch quillions, uh, but what I do have is I've got a uh, seven eighths main blade. And then I can take this smaller seven eighths and I can put it in each side just to show you that the pins work, right? So we'll take a battery and we'll put it in here. You're overseas. Um, I won't be sending batteries with these. There is one of these that has a static battery in it that can't be helped. But the other two I won't be sending batteries loose, okay? So we'll put a battery in here. You hear that? That's a good sign, right? You can put this in here. You can put it in however you want, right? Slide this saber however you want. And we'll just slide it right on in. Um, now, one thing I did do to the pummel is I've got a little spacer here. You can take it out if you want to, but there's really no need to. I just didn't want to glue it in. So that spacer stays in there. It's meant to press up against the speaker, but it keeps the pummel off of the speaker so you don't get any sound distortion. Right. So you'll screw this pummel on, screw it on as tight as it will go because it locks that chassis into those pins. And then you can come over here and hit activation. So I've got all of your LEDs firing up. Nice smooth swing. Auxiliaries over here. I can see him. The 
my mind's eye. Um, you got, you've got motion controls, obviously, if you want to utilize those. So we'll put a seven eighths inch blade here in the main portion, and then we'll lock it down. I'm not going to lock the side blades down uh, just for ease of being able to swap them back and forth to show you that each side works, right? But we go another sound font. General Kenobi. This one's a blue blade. I'm going to hold this here and show you that this fires off just like that. And we'll do it on the other side to show you that this fires off as well. Just like that. So all of your pins are working. Uh, due to the nature of the chassis and how I had to make it removable, your side blades and your main blade, they're all wired, uh, they're all wired together, right? So they fire off together um, on your config file, which there's a copy of the config file for each of these sabers on its SD card. This just takes one blade style for this guy. Right. Nice and loud. Just like that. And then uh, we'll take this blade out and we'll take, whoops, we'll take the battery out and we'll go over the next saber. And I'll show you how to take the battery out of each of these. It's easy to do, but I like to go over it one time just so you see it on camera, right? We'll unscrew the pommel again. This time when you go to hit this up against your palm, uh, the chassis is going to have a little bit more heft in it because it's heavier with the battery. So make sure you got your hand cupped so when you go like that, it doesn't go flying. Uh, but come over here from the positive side of the battery. It's over here by the speaker. And you can pop it out with your finger just like that. So we're going to slide this in. Back in the hilt for safekeeping. And I'm going to set this off to the side. I got all the sound fonts on here that you gave me on all three of them. So actually, this one comes with the stock font package that the Profi comes with. And the, the particular supplier that I get these Profis from, there's a ton of fonts. Uh, and so I left those on here that you can play with these. Okay. But on the other ones, I got the ones that you gave me. Um, next in line, just because it's here, is the corn horn. Uh, so this is installed with the Profi as well. Uh, it is set up for a one button setup though. So you have the silver Phil Guinness switch here. It's a one button setup um, and it works really well. Uh, you still got your uh, CC sabers in here for your lit PCB. And then you again, just unscrew this pommel. We'll take this pommel out. Now on this one, when you take the pommel off, your piece of your chassis sticking out right here. So you can just go ahead and grab it and pull it right on out. This has the same switch pixel PCB set and the same, you're not gonna be able to see it now, but in person, when you look in there, you can see that same 14 pin PCB. Um, and then same idea, you know, this is a removable chassis setup. Um, I chose not to color this one. You've got a 24 millimeter speaker in this, but it's fully enclosed. So it shoots that sound straight out and it sounds really good. Um, removable battery setup, you know. And then I do have a piece of art tape over your board. Um, it's really not needed right now because it is a nice press fit, but I make that indentation in the chassis for this art tape in case you pop this board up and down, um, you know, a lot over time uh, messing with your config. If it wears the chassis down, that's what that tape is for. But I just went ahead and I put it on there anyway because it's going overseas. All right, so we'll throw a battery in this guy too. Just like that. And we'll take the chassis and again, put it in any way you want. Just slide it in until it stops. Uh, this one does not need a spacer because the inner diameter of that, uh, of this pommel shrinks down and it put, I made sure that it pushed up against here. So you just take this and screw it right on. Uh, you'll feel it getting tight. That's okay. Just keep tightening it up until it stops. Did hit power here too. Nice smooth swing. Just tap for blaster bolts. Just 
I gave you twist off. I did not put swing on on here though. Um, I lately have not been doing that and it seems to work out better. Uh, but I leave the twist on feature or twist off feature there because uh, it's pretty cool. All right. So we'll put a blade in this guy. Now this guy takes this and the scrap flex both take a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And your blade retention is right here. Change sound fonts on this. It's just a short press on the button and let go. Now you're on your next sound font, which is the Sun of Corellia by Kyber Font. And we got nice blue. And then uh, the rest is just the stock font package, right? It's on here too. Scene C. Just like that. Um, and we'll take the blade out of this guy and go over taking the battery out. So again, we'll just take the pummel off, pull the chassis right out. And uh, the positive side is by the speaker again. Uh, they all remain consistent and you can pull it out with your finger just like that. Um, that's pretty easy. So we'll slide this back in the saber, screw it in and set it off to the side and we'll go over the last one, uh, which is the scrap flex. Now this one has uh, an inhale battery with recharge port. So your battery is located up here. Okay. Um, you have a pixel holder slash battery holder. That's all one piece. So that's CC Sabers in there too. Um, you've got a Phil Guinness switch for your main activation. You've got this little dome tactile switch here for your auxiliary. And then how you get to this chassis is you have to loosen uh, this set screw right here. And these Sabers came with Allen keys, which will be going out in your box. So we'll loosen that, slide the handle right off. And then you'll find a kill key right here inside your recharge port. You can pull that. Now you can see I've got your crystal pulsating on this one and the other sound font you gave me, uh, they're pulsing, but they're on a timer. So uh, if you don't turn the saber on, you know, eventually that crystal will go off. But for right now, it's just doing that. Until you turn it on, you know, if you turn it on, then it'll go solid. And it reacts to uh, the auxiliary being hit. like that uh, you got your chassis back here obviously 28 millimeter smugglers outpost elite speaker now this chassis is a static chassis and it's a press fit into this tube but I made sure it was just loose enough to where uh, if you have to pull it out to get to the board you can it will pull out you know uh, it I mean there's plenty of room to pull it out you'll feel where it stops but I made sure there's plenty of wire slack to get to the board and you don't have to worry about it in case you ever want to change anything up we're going to throw this handle back on and then we'll do some, we'll demo it out. So we got the handle on, I just put it on and I tightened up that set screw. Now we can come over here and hit activation again. Super loud. Auxiliary. Now, we'll throw a blade in here. Um, I think I mentioned it, but again, this one takes also takes a one inch diameter blade. So we'll tighten this guy up. The flash on clash if you want blade lock up. 
you'll have to hold down auxiliary and hit the saber at the same time. Just like that. Now you got blade lock up right here. Uh, your music track is a long press on the activation. And again, you turn it off. Long press on the activation turn off. Uh, these Phil Guinness switches are really nice, but they are a little sensitive, right? So you just have to get the feel for them. They don't have like a clicky feel. Um, you'll get the hang of it the more that you practice with them and it helps that all three of your sabers are set up with them so it won't take you long but they do have a way to them all right that's that's different from an, an actual tactile switch uh, where you could hear it click and actuate right um, and then the rest of the sound fonts past there i did leave the stock ones on here for you so again smooth jedi Lock up. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out of this one too. And of course, as you know, um, there's no taking the battery out of this guy. It's just a matter of putting the kill switch back in the recharge port uh, when you're not using it. All right. So if I were to turn the saber on, now it's on. Come over here, put that kill switch in push it down cuts everything off exactly like it should um so that is that is basically your three sabers uh let me know if you got any questions and if not i will get these guys out in the mail to you as soon as i can all right thanks man